Hi, this is a video demonstration of implementing DCSCM 2.0 LVDS tunneling protocol interface using LatticeMock X03 FPGA. This demo features the use of DCSCM 2.0 specifications to aggregate data. It supports up to seven data channels of either GPIO, I2C, and UART. It also uses a dynamic payload scheme to maximize the available payload data per frame. Using this approach, the design can support up to 700 bits of low latency GPIO. In addition, the data payload is sent through LVDS running at a fixed 200 MHz clock with 400 megabits per second data transfer. Let's have a closer look at the RTL design. Each SCM and HPM are composed of three major parts. These are the data aggregator and deaggregator. DCSCM state control, and the LVDS PHY. DCSCM state control manages the state machine of the interface protocol based on DCSCM 2.0 specification. This module is in charge of the communication between SCM and HPM FPGA, from link to text state up to L0 state where each FPGA can now send a true data payload. Data aggregator and deaggregator handle the incoming and outgoing data for proper data aggregation and deaggregation. To maximize the payload per frame, only the data of a channel with active transit requests is included on the payload. On the receiving end, each channel has a payload ID. This helps to identify which data belongs to a particular channel. The last part is the LVDS PHY. This serves as a physical layer of the design. It uses four LVDS pair which runs a 200 MHz clock. Let's discuss the hardware implementation. This demo design can aggregate 16-bit each way of low latency GPIO, 16-bit each way of normal GPIO which we use for UART, and two I2C ports. For demo purposes, we use two sets of LatticeMock X03 breakout boards that will act as the SCM and HPM FPGA. Raspberry Pi, keyboard, mouse, and monitor are then used for generating and verifying GPIO, I2C, and UART signals. For GPIO, Raspberry Pi generates a bus counter which is being sent to a receiving FPGA. It is then de-aggregated and passed to a receiving Raspberry Pi where visual verification can be observed on the monitor display. Hardware validation shows GPIO latency is about 3 microsecond. For UART demonstration, a simple chat box was created to generate and receive UART data. The UART channel is verified to support up to 256,000 baud rate. For I2C demonstration, Raspberry Pi act as an I2C master and a virtual I2C slave. The I2C master generates I2C command to turn on or turn off the color box of the virtual I2C slave. Please take note the I2C clock is set to 400 kHz. Overall, the demo uses approximately 2200 lookup tables. This ends the video demonstration of the DCSCM 2.0 LVDS tunneling protocol interface using LatticeMock X03 FPGA. Thank you for watching.